The Zimbabwean political landscape is once again shrouded in a cloud of suspicion and controversy, this time with the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZC at the heart of a scandal that threatens to undermine public trust in the country's electoral processes. Allegations of massive fraud, involving over 100 million US dollars in public funds, have emerged, casting a dark shadow over last year's controversial elections. The scandal revolves around a series of tenders awarded to South African company Reform CC and its local agents, including Better Brands Security Private LTD for the supply of electoral materials. The accusations are stark. Prices were inflated by as much as 235% with the ZC allegedly paying exorbitant sums for items like biometric voter registration BVR kits, canvas tents, ballot papers, solar lights, and indelible ink marking pens. The scale of the alleged financial mismanagement is staggering. Initial reports suggested a 40 million US dollar deal for BVR kits and related services. But new evidence reveals a much larger sum, 69 million US dollars, was paid to inform CC. This figure, coupled with an additional 21 million US dollars spent on other election materials, including donations, brings the total expenditure to a staggering 90 million US dollars. The ZC's records, however, paint a different picture. They indicate that a total of 21,148 US dollars, 867 was spent on importing election materials, including donations. This discrepancy alone raises serious questions about the transparency and accountability of the ZC's financial dealings. The payments include the following amounts. 2,673,360 US dollars. 4,919,592 US dollars. 8,964,693 US dollars and 80 cents. 3,544,526 US dollars. 4,025,559 US dollars. 4,126,500 US dollars. 4,786,800 US dollars. 5 million US dollars. 4,989,325 US dollars and 50 cents. 3,946,626 US dollars and 50 cents. 5,731,979 US dollars and 50 cents. 5,907,123 US dollars and 30 cents. 5,992,334 US dollars. 4,513,218 US dollars. Further adding to the controversy are the ZC's purchases of 2,000 non flushable toilets at a cost of 7 US dollars. 6 million. This equates to a price of 3,800 US dollars per toilet, a figure that is significantly higher than the retail price of around 300 US dollars in South Africa. The toilets, curiously, were delivered eight months after the elections, raising further concerns about the timing and necessity of the purchase. The ZC also spent 5 million US dollars on gadgets to display voting returns and digital V11 polling station forms, which were similarly delivered months after the elections. This raises questions about the ZC's procurement processes and the potential for deliberate delays in the delivery of essential election materials. The allegations of fraud have implicated several high-profile individuals, including ZC Chairperson Priscilla Chigamba, Chief Electoral Officer at Lowell Siligwana, and Chief Procurement Officer Robson Changachira. Businessmen Wakel Shaveo, Moses Mpofu, Pedza, Scott Sakakwanya, and Mike Chimam are also named in connection with the scandal. Adding to the intrigue are the names of high-ranking officials such as Central Intelligence Organization Director General Isaac Moyle, Chief Secretary to the President and Cabinet Martin Rushwaya, Lawyer Everson Kadambudza, Reform International Sales Executive Angus Carlaw, and the company's Chief Executive Thomas Michel Dussart. Their alleged involvement in the scandal has sent shockwaves through the political establishment, 
raising serious concerns about the potential for corruption at the highest levels of government. In the 2023 national budget presented in November 2022, Finance Minister Mthilin Kib allocated ZW$76 billion million US dollars at the time for the elections. The alleged 100 million US dollar fraud, if proven, would represent a significant portion of this allocation, highlighting the scale of the financial mismanagement that has taken place. The scandal has ignited a firestorm of criticism and calls for accountability. Opposition parties, civil society organizations, and independent observers have expressed deep concerns about the integrity of the electoral process and the potential for manipulation. They have demanded a thorough investigation into the allegations, calling for the prosecution of those found guilty of corruption and the implementation of reforms to prevent such scandals from recurring. This is a serious indictment of the ZC and the government as a whole, said a political analyst de Masami Moyo. It raises serious questions about the credibility of the elections and the commitment to democratic principles. The government must act decisively to address these allegations and restore public confidence in the electoral process. The ZC, for its part, has denied any wrongdoing, claiming that all procurement processes were conducted in accordance with established procedures. However, the weight of evidence against them is substantial, and the public is demanding answers.